it's time to take a look at Canvas's calendar. Now this is one of those features that I used to use extensively, but I haven't seen a lot of teachers use it effectively and I'm not quite sure why. It is a really, really, really handy feature to have within Canvas and you don't even have to set it up. Now every other time I've shown you almost anything in this course, I've had you come here and then click on the course. We've spent most of the time in the course navigation menu, right? Course navigation menu. The calendar is in the global navigation menu. You'll see it right there. Calendar. So that's how you get there. Now, you see I have a bunch of stupid sample assignments. Uh, anything with a date will show up on the calendar. So if I create a new assignment, if I just go into my sandbox course and I make an assignment that's due tomorrow, it is going to show up. Where's the due date? Tomorrow. It's going to show up in my calendar. See, there it is. Now, a student can come right into the calendar, say, oh, what's coming up? Oh, look, I've got an assignment due tomorrow, and click on it. And then if they click on this up here, and students have to be taught this part, then it will open, open the assignment for them, and they can submit it. So it's one other way to navigate the course. Now, anything with a date ends up on the calendar. And as you probably know from the to-do list at the top right in Canvas, anything that's on the calendar will also end up on the to-do list. But let's say you have something that's coming up that you need them to do, but it's not really an assignment. Here's how you do that. So you're going to go in, you're going to add an assignment. But Aaron, you just said not an assignment. I know, but you're still going to add it as an assignment. So we'll call this, put it in the to-do list. Now, instead of submission type, we're going to change this to no submission. I'm going to make it worth zero points. Now I can give instructions here. And I don't need to display this as points or anything else because there's no submission. Nothing's there. And when I put this in here, whatever instructions I gave, so read this assignment or um, don't forget blah, 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 which might be better as an announcement. We'll put it there. Now when I publish this, it doesn't require a... Uh, a submission but it will show up inside the calendar and then the kids can click on it and see it and it will show up and tell them what to do so that's a pretty handy workaround for uh, well for when you need it to be in the to-do list now navigation is pretty simple you can go back to today you could go forward you could go backwards you could see the agenda of what's coming up, or monthly or weekly, whatever makes you happy. Uh, you should also know that you are able to change anything in the calendar, the due date, with a simple drag and drop. So if instead I want this calendar to be on the 29th, I just move it. And it's done. It moves it. It updates the date. So especially when you're, do, when you're in a new trimester, that's a really, really handy feature. Now, you have a separate calendar for every course. You notice that I've built up quite the collection of calendars here on the right side. So you might want to turn some of those off. Like, I don't ever use this as my personal calendar. I had a professor who did and had some really embarrassing stuff on their calendar, and so... I don't like to use this one as my main one. Uh, but sometimes I don't need to, 
You know, I, I don't need to see everything from every calendar. And you could change the colors too. And that's you specific. So uh, a student can change it differently. If they want to do a um, RSS feed kind of thing, that's how to do that. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. There's not going to be a test about it. Now let me show you one of the ways that I use this. And you don't need to do it this way. It's not. This was peculiar to this one class. So this was my humanities course. And that was a participation course. And it was also a college course. And so it was concurrent enrollment. And a lot of seniors would just decide that they didn't have to show up. So in order to make up the participation points and uh, <laughs> try to get some of that going, I set up a thing where every day they missed, they would have to come in and click on and follow the instructions. So do these things, listen to this. And if you wanted to do that, all you have to do is click in the calendar on a date and create an event. You could also create an assignment right from here. But if you create an event, title is sample calendar thingy. I don't think thingy should have any. Um, I don't need a time, but I could put one or a location. But if I do more options, I have this same rich text editor that I always have. And I can use that to uh, to give instructions to my kids. Then if the kid's absent, all they have to do, like here, is click on the thing and it'll pop up and give them instructions. And that's that's really handy if you need if you need something like you were gone, here's how to make it up. Now next year, when I create a copy of this course or when I copy this year's course into next year's, I'll have to change the dates. But again, it's just a simple drag and drop. And so I can plan out my lessons that way.